Hi, I'm Janine, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to tell you about two tops that I've made up that are great for spring slash summer. A couple of weeks ago, Simplicity had a pattern sale. I'm trying not to buy too many patterns because I have so many, but there were two that stuck out to me because they were t-shirt-like, great for knits, but a little more interesting than a t-shirt and not too complicated to make because I'm all about easy. The first is Simplicity 9229, which is a short sleeve t-shirt with princess seams on it. The second pattern looks an awful lot alike. It's Simplicity 9275. The difference with this one is that it also has the option for long sleeves, but it has the band at the bottom. I liked this because it reminds me of a number of J. Jill tops that I have. Pretty basic knit garments with something that makes them more interesting. In this case, what makes this more interesting is princess seams and the band at the bottom. So I went over to Joanne and I found this fabric, which I thought was very pretty, really spring-like, girly. I love the colors in it, the watercolor look. So I picked up enough of this fabric to make a top for myself and my mom. Came home, threw it in the wash, pulled it out, barely creases, it's fantastic. So I decided to make Simplicity 9275, the one with the band, out of this fabric. The challenge is that I'm trying to make things that fit better. This pattern has princess seams, and I did really well with the princess seams on my jacket and on the Cashmere at Harrison shirt. Now I know this is a knit, but I still wanted to make sure that it was gonna fit right and it was gonna lie okay. So I measured all the pattern pieces and I figured that a straight 18 might just work. I was concerned it might be a little big in the shoulders, but I thought I'm just gonna give it a try and cut a straight 18. That's what I did. I didn't do any FBAs. I didn't do any adjustments for my waist or my bust or my hips and it fits. It's amazing well actually. <laughs> now I did make two small changes to this pattern. The first thing I did was a high round back adjustment using Alexandra Morgan's tutorial from in-house patterns. It's very good. I use it almost all the time on everything because it's so fast. It takes me about 10 minutes to make the change to the pattern pieces. And it really helps because things don't pull back on me. And I am trying to do exercises to get rid of my high round back and not sit and look at my phone all the time. But that's really a challenge, isn't it? So I made that change. And then after I was at the point where I was ready to do the neck, I tried on the top and the neck actually came up to here. So I just took off about an inch and a half and brought it down a little bit so it's a little more pleasing. Next time I make this, I'm going to take it down just a little bit further. I could take it down even further than that, but I think I'll just maybe try a little bit further. So only two changes to this, high round back and scooping the neck out a little bit. The rest of it was according to pattern size. I've already worn this, um, I think I've worn it three times in one week, and people at work are getting sick of seeing it. Even though it's just on video, they're getting sick of seeing it. But the fabric is really nice, super comfortable, and the pattern is excellent. So this is Simplicity 9275. Project number two is this top, which I made up for golf. 
I've been searching for patterns, as I mentioned in an earlier video, and decided to start digging around on the internet to see what I could find. I have found three patterns. The first pattern is a current one, Quick Sew 3232. And for golf where I play, the only piece that'll work here is the skort. Cute little skort. I have fabric, I am going to give this a try. Unfortunately, the top doesn't have a collar, so I can't use that. But this is an excellent skort option. I will make it a hair longer. Then I realized that last year, not last year, probably the year before, I had found a golf pattern at ASG pattern sale. This is Butterick 5550 from 1998. Look at those shorts. I used to wear shorts like that when I golfed because I was golfing a lot in 1998. Big old plaid shorts with big old pleats and elastic in the back. So I would never make either the shorts, the skort, or the pants from this, but the top is cute and the top can be color blocked and it uses a zipper instead of buttons on the placket, which I really like. So I will try this for the top. Then I dug around the line a little bit more and I found several copies of Butterick 3461. This is from 2002. It's a Kathy Ireland pattern. I wasn't sewing when Kathy Ireland was sewing, was doing sewing patterns, but she's got bathing suits, tennis wear, golf wear, all kinds of really cute stuff. And there were plenty of copies of this available on Etsy. I paid six bucks for it. Some people had it for 15, but six bucks for an uncut pattern with all these pieces. This has capris, skirt, shorts, tank top, cardigan, and a collared sleeveless top. Unfortunately, when I got the pattern, I realized it was for wovens, but I decided to just give it a try anyways. The fabric was in the back of my stash. It's an activewear knit that I bought at Fabric Mart probably two plus years ago. So I just thought I'd give it a try. Let's see what happened. The second thing I did for this project is I decided to see how quickly I could sew it. I watched the Great British Sewing Bee. I'm absolutely fascinated by the pattern challenge where they have 90 minutes, maybe two hours to make something, usually 90 minutes. So I thought I'm gonna give it a try with this because it's a simple pattern, front, back, facing, collar, that's it. So, set myself up, started with a timer, and I set to work. And I wanted to see how quickly I could get things done, knowing that I wasn't gonna alter the pattern at all. I was just gonna make it exactly as it was designed, even though it was designed for a woven. In two hours, which is more time than they get, in two hours, I cut out the pattern pieces, cut out the pattern, interface the collar and the facings, sewed the shoulder seams, the side seams, finished the edge of the front facing, attached the front facing, did the collar, attached the collar. Two hours. What I had left to do was hand stitch the inside of the collar, do the arm size and the hem. But I stopped because the collar wasn't straight. And I decided that I was just doing this out of a stupid, egoistic desire to see how quickly I could get something done. But I wanted to make a top that I would wear. So I stopped at two hours, which I thought was pretty good. You know, I got a fair bit done in two hours considering I started at nothing. Um, I stopped at two hours. I set it down for a couple of days. I came back. I unpicked the collar. I don't know how I got it wrong, but I think it, I need better markings to get this straight. So I stopped there, came back, did the collar. Then for the arm side, I decided to add a band, 
so that they would lie better because this is something that I will move in and I don't necessarily want my bra to show. And I hemmed it on the cover stitch. All in with having to unpick the collar and the facing three and a half hours, which is pretty good. I don't always want to sew fast. I enjoy sewing slowly, but it was kind of a fun experience. One thing I did a little differently on this top, I have some Elliflex thread. I didn't have a great deal of red thread, but I did have a spool of Elliflex red thread in my stash. And I thought I'd give it a try. So I went and looked online and got a couple of tips for working with it. And they turned out well. The first tip was to wind the bobbin slowly. The second tip was to sew slowly. So I kept the speed on my machine at the midpoint and I lengthened the stitch and it worked perfectly. I had no issues. I was using a ballpoint needle. Ballpoint needle? Yes, I was using a ballpoint needle. So the Elliflex thread, I just sewed a straight stitch. It has enough give for this particular pattern and it worked out nicely for the top stitching on the sleeves and around the neck. I'm very happy to have found a pattern with so many choices in it. And I think I might take a look at Etsy and see what else there is from the Kathy Ireland line because this is really a cute pattern. It's too bad they don't continue to put out cute patterns like that. Maybe I'm showing my age because I like things from 2002. So those are my two tops that I've made up that will carry me through a chunk of the summer. Yesterday in the mail, I received two Vogue patterns that I'd ordered for tops from the summer catalog and I'm considering making one but honestly the sewing room is really clean right now and sometimes I like to leave it that way for a little while so we'll see how quickly I jump into the next project. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon.